Hi, I'm Thomas Wolfe. I grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Went to New York out of school, and I got thrown into the Wall Street machine, and then somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, you should probably go to business school. So I ski-bummed up in Aspen, took the GMAT, and I came down to DU and, and did an MBA in finance. Originally, you know, in the Midwest, we're kind of the background, backbone of the ski industry. You know, the kids in the station wagon, the skis on top, if you were fortunate to go to a holiday, um, it kind of broke, either went warm in Florida or came out here and skied. Um, folks in my hometown were the venture capital behind Keystone. So that was just kind of the, that's what our family did and always was drawn back to that. My dad sold his car and rode his bike to work, you know, the rest of his life. So I kind of, of that mind, we have one car and I try to get in more miles on the bike than in the car and I typically do that. I'm just more of a doer. Like if you wanted to get to know me, um, let's go build a fence or play pickleball or go on a bike ride or you know compete in some sort of sport and let's figure out how to win. And um, I've been on a lot of great teams, you know, sports teams, uh, academic teams, work teams, and you just get such a quick feel. Uh, you know, like you said, having a, a beer with a candidate, you get to know them. Um, that's just such a quick crucible and such a quick flash to you know, in the character of a person. You see an opportunity of, uh, of how a city could run um, and, and model that a lot on how technology has been deployed in businesses, how uh, resources are allocated in business, how people are managed within businesses, and to get the the municipal government up to speed with that is just a huge opportunity and a huge pickup if you do. The interesting side of it in Colorado is that there's a, um, just how educated the, the workforce is here and how the workforce has switched from going to where the job is to going to where they want to be and then creating their business and I think capital is always going to follow those people that are creating things and innovating. And uh, I think you've seen that with the startup culture here and what's getting funded locally and you know, just the opportunity that it can be done here. I always talk to people and they, uh, you know, there's such a, such a um, uh, gra gravitational force in Silicon Valley, but innovation happens you know, all over the place. And uh, you know, innovation isn't cyclical, it's always going on. So. Uh, to the extent that we can do that here now is, is, has, spells a good future for Colorado if we can sustain that and foster it. Mile high, uh, crisp, and punches below its weight, which isn't a word, but. good dad on the back having a great father um sorry uh he's still alive he's 90 coming up on 91 um uh kind of a just a broad intellect you know jack of all trades master of none but have had you know really broad exposure to you know Iowa, Wall Street, London, Denver, whatever, a lot of different industries, uh, from being a carpenter to being a, a science guy to being a Wall Street guy to being, you know, trying to do something to help the city. Uh, I guess that wasn't a word. Um, and I guess competitive. I like winning. I'd like to get Denver back to winning. Just focus on Denver as opposed to trying to climb some political ladder and get somewhere else. I've already lived in D.C. I have no interest in getting back there. This is the only thing I'd like to do because I think I can do it well and it could, you know, greatest good for the greatest number, do a lot for Denver.